Back in September of 2013, Total War Rome 2 was released to critical acclaim. Gamers on the other hand had issues that ruined their experience. Total War games always accomplish connecting the player to historic moments in history, from the Romans to the Samurai, all the while allowing the player to have full control of how to govern their empire and how they would like to wage war with their neighboring nations. Despite having a more user-friendly interface, training mode, improved graphics from previous Total War games, Rome 2 suffered from massive game-breaking bugs, dimwit AI, horrid multiplayer connection issues, and a painful been-there-done-that feel for its campaign. Rome 2, needless to say, was dead on arrival for hardcore RTS fans, and it made many diehard fans of the series, such as myself, fear that this could be the end for one of the greatest RTS franchises in gaming history. Fast forward to 2016 with the release of Total War Warhammer, based on the popular brutal and bloody tabletop miniature war game by Games Workshop, which has been around since 1983. For the longest time, I wanted a fantasy-based Total War game. Creating your own Lord of the Rings-style battles with the option to rule a realm of dark magic, well finally Total War took a leap of faith, and it paid off. From orcs, vampires, dwarves, elves, beastmen, humans, the list goes on for what faction you can play in the campaign each more diverse than the last. My favorite is the vampires because, you know, raising an army of the undead to rain hell on the other races? Priceless. Past Total War games didn't have this feeling of experimentation, but here the free feeling of an innovative campaign structure built around complex races with every choice feeling like an experiment for success or all-out war recaptures the series in a great way. Another thing that Warhammer nailed is the world itself. From lush green valleys of the Empire, volcanic badlands of the Orcs, to the terrifying swamps of the undead, all of which plays a bigger part on the battlefield. Each battlefield showcases fantasy-based realms, from towering marble stone besieged castles to the spiderweb-covered tunnels of the dwarves, all in amazing detail. Also, I haven't seen detail like this in a Total War game when it comes to the characters before. From blood sweat of a battle-hardened Orc, or the dark grizzled look of a vampire lord, it just feels like Creative Assembly was given a chance to let loose with their creativity. I actually feel like I'm in that chaotic world, where every move I make could lead to the rise or fall of another race. It is this feeling that has led me to throw in 114 hours into the game, with no regrets. <laughs> Diplomacy and the battle structure of Warhammer have finally returned Total War to its roots. Past Total War games made it too easy to forge alliances with other nations, set up trade routes through enemy territory to your allies, with little to no worry of losing goods to enemy settlements. This is no longer the case in Warhammer. Now the AI will make diplomatic decisions based not only on world affairs, but how they judge you by your faction's strength, both by your military and political standings to your neighbors. Break one trade or peace treaty you set up, and the other races will take notice, making it much harder to win them over in political deals later. Even other races that are your kin are hard to convince to be anything more than trade partners if you mess up a deal. All of this makes Warhammer a much deeper challenge than past Total War games. The care and thought that goes into making the right moves of diplomacy also goes into the battle system. No more mindless mosh pits of idiot AI fighting each other, but now fully structured battle formations, many of which differ depending on your race. Orcs and Beastmen are best at hit-and-run tactics, whether as the vampires focus on overwhelming numbers and the other races offer different tactics as well. Also, the modding community is at its strongest, coming up with great mods from campaign resource boosts to even creating new units from scratch, all from the Warhammer lore. Overall, this is the structure of Total War I've missed over the years. Compelling war and diplomacy campaigns with a ferocious battle system to top it off. Overpriced DLC has been a plague in the Total War series for years, with Rome 2 being the main perpetrator. Warhammer in some ways has learned from this. Since its release, there have been four free Lord characters, two new campaigns with new races along with three minor two characters each DLC packs, overall of which rounds up to over 65 bucks US. It's worth putting down the cash given that it will add over another 20 hours or so to your experience. Each new faction leader has new and different abilities, and the DLC restructures the world, adding in races by expanding the map. It is an improvement over Rome 2 DLC charges, giving us new races along with new campaigns to conquer. But seriously, Sega and Creative Assembly, always charging money for adding in blood and guts? Really? F***ing really? So does this game clear Sega and Creative Assembly out of the doghouse from previous Total War games? Not quite, but it's a great start and it shows that the fantasy setting may be the winning goal the series has needed. I would like to see the Total War series to improve its battle system, with more realistic fighting animations. 
build your own race or faction feature from scratch, and push for a new setting, say World War I or World War II. Something to really challenge the franchise so that it doesn't go stagnant ever again. They don't need to release a new Total War game every few years, so long as Creative Assembly is allowed to be creative with their work. In a gaming world where RTS games are becoming more and more rare, it's good to know that Total War is still putting up a fight to stay alive. For more and more Hammer and your favorite games, keep it here on GameSpot. They want it all. Send forth the gores. Let civilization be torn asunder. Let the endless hunt begin. Oh, 